AS, I've got a B in further maths, A in biology, A in maths, um, A in physics, uh, so far an A in physics, I, I have got an A in physics because the general remarks have come out, an A in physics, an A in chemistry and I'm hoping to get A's in everything as well. Enjoy your maths. I was probably quite academic before I came here but yeah. I was sort of, I, say, I didn't feel challenged at okay. all in state school, I was just, you know, yeah. there. Uh, what I most yeah. enjoy about here is probably because the teachers, they're very good. All the teachers sort of, I've developed quite good relationships with all the teachers, you know, whenever yeah. I come across a problem, I ask them. I've become a lot more confident since yeah. coming here. Okay. When cool. I came in, I was a very quiet, shy, study, yeah. bookworm type. Yeah. I'm a bit more sociable now and sort of, you know, I talk. You've... When I first came here, I was a very... I just came from a state school, you know, nobody knew me, I was the quiet boy in the back. Yeah. And I just, you know, kept myself to myself, which is what you do in state school, mm -hmm. if you're not sort of the cool kid. Yeah. And so when I came here, it was, since it was a very small class, you know, there was nowhere to hide. Yeah. Um, I've done seven AS, I'm, yeah, doing seven, well, finished seven ASs and doing five A2s, which you can ask the teacher specific questions at break time, lunch time, or, you know, during a free lesson. You can go up to them and ask them about a particular point and they're ready to answer, they don't mind. Mm -hmm. And it, especially like before exams, they really want to sort of, you know, they're very adamant to, you know, you come to the lesson so we can do a revision. Mm -hmm. And I find that helps me quite a lot as well. because I Okay, so you like, you think Mr. Tyler is a good teacher? You like I think all the teachers, Mr. Searle, Mr. Dr. Windle, uh, who else is who else teaching me? Miss Majunda, she was quite good. And the other thing is, you know, I'm not the top top student in maths, at least. Yeah, must say. Um, so I find that it's, you know, if you don't, if you come across something you don't know, uh, you can ask um, a student quite easily. Uh, Mr. Searle. Yeah. Teaches. Teaches chemistry. Mm -hmm. Dr. Windle teaches biology. Miss Majunda and Mr. Shibani teach mechanics and maths, yeah. not respect, the other way around. Mm -hmm. And um, who else is it? Mr. Tyler teaches physics, and Miss Teji taught me um, law. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Oh, Bassett taught me, Mr. Bassett taught me further maths, and Miss um, Mockery taught me art. Okay. The teachers do their best to support me in that. They don't sort of, you know, say, oh, we don't really want to help you. Oh, you're giving me extra work. Mm -hmm. It's never like that here. It's just sort of, you know, it's, they're, yeah. they're actually excited to have a student in their class yeah. rather than put off. Yeah. That... Hi, um, I'm Ruby Winter. I'm 17. I've just finished my AS art. I'm going on to do A2. I'm right behind me, my final exhibition. And yeah. Okay, and how long have you been at Bales College? I've been here since January and I moved from another school and came here and carried on with art, history and maths, it's very good. Okay. And why did, you, why did you move schools? Um, I wasn't doing very well at my other school because I, I needed sort of a more, more, I don't know, more enclosed environment where I could be looked after and get more private tuition and so I came here because it's a lot smaller and <coughs> teachers can concentrate on the individual student more. I was in classes with 20 students and it's hard for a teacher to concentrate on one student's needs but here you can so it's good. They're all really lovely, they treat me like an, an equal instead of patronising and looking down and if I ever have any problems they'll give me some of their free time to help, they won't just leave me to do it myself, they'll help me, so it's very, okay. very good. Uh, for A-level, uh, about uh, math, further math and physics and uh, AS chemistry. Like for my physics teacher, Mr. Tyler, mm. uh, he, he, he is a really good teacher. The same reason for Mr. Bassi as well, my further math teacher. He is really good at that as well. Mrs. Majinda, he, she is a good teacher as well. Uh, at, at, least, at least I, I got a uh, both both a hundred percent in C one C C C two, so it's it's good though. Okay. Hi, I'm Tolu. Hi, I'm Pedro. Hi, I'm Isabella. Okay, and what? I when did you study? Here? Yeah. I came here from um two thousand and six to two thousand and eight A levels. Okay, so you did two years of A levels. Yes. So. Okay, and um same here. Um two thousand and six <laughs> to two thousand and eight A levels. Same, A-Levels 2006 to 2008. I did Law, History, Literature and AS Economics. Okay. Um, I did Maths, Chemistry, AS Biology and Sociology. 
and somehow it is quite <laughs> exhausting. I done chemistry, biology, sociology. Cool. Okay, and what are you doing now? I go to school in Nottingham. I'm studying law. I'm Leeds, and I'm studying um, chemical engineering. University of Northampton, studying sociology. I liked it. It was very warm and nice. It was cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a good environment to learn and made good friends and stuff. So it was a good experience. <laughs> yeah, exactly what they said. <laughs> yeah, it was very welcoming as well. And it's not like really strict where you can just lay back a little bit and enjoy it. So, okay. Good. Um, your subject teachers, how did you get on with them? Did you like them? Um, yeah, yeah, I had Miss Teji. She was awesome. Yeah, she was. And my teacher, <laughs> teacher and yeah, they were really nice. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, my maths teacher, Miss Majunda, like before I got here, I actually didn't like maths, but like she helped me like maths and that's also how I got into chemical engineering because you do a lot of maths in it. so. I guess without her, I might have been doing something else or something, I don't know, but yeah. she really helped me. Similar with me, um, with sociology, Mr. Nyman. I never done sociology before, but when he started teaching it, I realised that I wanted to um, do that in uni, because it was so interesting, thanks to him, the way he taught, the way I learned from him. So Very helpful. Very helpful. And like, because it's quite, um, calm. the classes are quite small, you get a lot of one-to-one -one Mm. Yeah, and stuff, so. there are lots of practice essays and like yeah, exam questions, questions and questions, so we like practiced a lot. Okay, well, it's a good preparation for exams yeah. and things like that. It's a good place to spend your two years of A levels yeah. and we achieve what you want to achieve. Like, yeah, it's not yeah, stress free. It's not, yeah, stress free. It's stress free, yeah. And it's teachers good. are helpful here. So. Yeah, and it's small, it's not like. Yeah, small groups. It's like it's like it's um, one to one tuition, mm. but it's not. It's just groups. Mm -hmm. so it makes it a lot better than state school. Yeah. I just came to CF1 intensive A level to receive most of the papers I did. I didn't do well last year in my old school, and I also took up history and sociology as new A level subjects. I did some GCSE research, yeah. and I did my AS and my A2 levels here. Okay. In business and law and social law. And you get small classes so you can have more teacher attention, so okay. which is really good compared to big public schools. Yeah. Like if you had a problem they can always like you could always go to them and ask for advice and even with Miss Majunda, even though she don't teach me because she teaches the math students, but like it's easy to approach other teachers mm -hmm. compared to like normal public schools where you can't yeah. really approach them and you know, really ask them like general questions because in the classes there's about five, six of us and then you really get to know your teacher and your other students and become really close. Yeah. We're like a little family in our business yeah. in law class because most of us do both subjects yeah. and we've come really close and it's going to be weird not seeing them like in September. Yeah. Here it's different because like the teachers really get to know the way you work and like the way like you do like they can work around you and try to get the best grades for you. Mm -hmm. Like, honest truth, Miss Teddy helped me a lot with like law and business and get the best grades. And if it wasn't for her, really, I could have got yeah. those kind of grades. So, I think small classes are yeah. the best thing to like getting the best grades. And now she's very, very happy. Uh, what we do like about the school is the the, the smaller numbers of students per class and the attention given to the children from school. Um, all I've heard is uh, good news from Sabrina since she started and I'll be very honest. We look at the people behind the school and that is what parents have to see. The people behind the school is the most important thing that I feel. And all I can say is the school's brilliant. And I've met a few teachers along the line in the last few months and each one comes across as very approachable. Now when I was young and I grew up around this area I never had that. Whatever was mentioned in that meeting and when my daughter came back, everything promised was delivered. That's what we're looking for as parents, you know. We don't mind paying and uh, making sure uh, everything goes correct, as long as people deliver what they promise. And Bell's College does deliver what he promises. That's all I'm going to say. That's actually the new motto.